all right so the purpose of this very short video is to look at how you can install mysql connectors and basically the purpose of mysql connectors is to enable applications written in various programming languages to communicate with a mysql database and the connectors they act as an interface or a bridge between applications and the mysql server now what this does it allows you to execute sql queries retrieve data update records and, and so forth so basically write your sql command within your various programming languages now there are different types of connectors depending on the programming language that you are working with so for example if you're working in python there's a connector for that if you're working in java there's a connector for that right so to install the connectors you just go to or whichever connector you want to install you just go to the mysql.com website click on downloads scroll down to the bottom of the page or close to the bottom of the page and you will see mysql community gpl downloads you just simply click on that and you will see the connectors listed so you are seeing connector for c plus plus connector j is for java you can install connectors for your dotnet applications which is basically if you are writing your program in c sharp and there's connector for node.js an open database connectivity connector a python connector as well and also you are seeing mysql native driver for php now for this example the connector that i'll be downloading is the one for java which is the connector j so you just simply click on the connector that you want to download now for operating system you are going to select platform independent you're going to see two options so a tar archive and a zip archive and we're going to go with the zip archive so just click on download for the zip archive and simply click on no thanks if you don't want to log in or sign up just simply click on no thanks just start my download All right so once you click on that the download will start and what you'll be getting is a zip file once the download has been completed you can simply just extract your connector j file and the connector j will be within the folder as a jar file or a java archive file all right so our download has been completed right here so you can just go to the folder where it is simply extract your your files And once your jar file has been extracted, your connector J jar file has been extracted, you can add it to your program that you are working on. So let's say I'm working in NetBeans or Eclipse and I am developing an application that requires me to connect to a database and I want to connect to MySQL. Then I can just add the, the jar file to my project now i have two separate videos that i did some time ago that shows how to add your jar file to netbeans and also to eclipse so we can use those as reference so basically um in times past you could have installed your connectors as part of your overall mysql installation but now it uh, it is being done a little bit different we're differently we're you know add these connectors um, after you would have gone ahead and install your mysql server so once you would have extracted your downloaded content inside of your mysql connector j 9.2.0 folder you will see a file for the mysql connector j 9.2 0.0 and it says jar so all you need to do is just add this to your project and as i said um 
to see an example of how to do that, then you can simply just review the two videos that I did. One showed how to include the jar file using NetBeans. The other one showed how to include the jar file using Eclipse. Right, so I think that is it.